All right. We have this uh, Carol Con very rare variation in the pan off. An early bishop. Well, a6. Yeah. I mean, usually they play bishop g4 here and we get the end game line. Or, you know, you guys all know this. We. We got the either the end game line with check, king e7, and take. And we've, we've been down this road before, you know. Either this or, you know, and on and on and on it goes. And I, either that or you've been seeing me play this queen sac, uh, this peace sacrifice line lately with knight d6 and then take here and castles. Right? So there's that, but, you know. When this guy is playing a6, this is a very interesting move, a6, because um, I'm not really sure what I would do in a real game. I don't want to play h3. The issue is that I don't seem to have any useful moves for this bishop, because he's going to probably play bishop g4 if I play bishop d3. I mean, this seems pretty easy for him. Or he can just take and, you know gain that tempo with a6 so uh, I think it's a useful tempo because because you know then he can get in b5 eventually so it's either that bishop b2 is the same same thing I suppose I could play for d5 but and then h3 c5 doesn't really make much sense I mean I could play c5 and you know but he gets again he gets a it looks like he's got to be equal here as well. So I think a6 is a very nice, very strong move. Um, and h3, it's not in the spirit of the panoff. Um, when, you know, you can play e6 again. And I don't, you know, does this h3 move really help us? Maybe a6 doesn't help him. So that's an interesting argument to play h3. But I don't really, I'm not very impressed with the move h3. I don't believe that it can offer any advantage. So a6 has been around. I, I've seen it a lot. And what I do in Blitz for fun is I, I, I either offer them a queen sacrifice or a, or a force draw. So bishop c4. And, and if, they, if, they, if they don't play bishop e6, then I, I won the opening. Like if they take here, I mean I almost could play queen b3. But no, then he has e6 and knight a5. Right? Knight a5. You have to watch out for that. And then bishop d7, right? This is hanging. So, uh, again, so bishop c4, if he plays knight c3, bc, and I have a nice, nice position. Because, yeah. And then murky one, queen e2, and I have, a, I have an attack. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, his a6 move is not useful in this setup because he wants to play b6 to get his bishop out. So the issue for him is that he's he's stuck. He kind of really has to play bishop b6. I don't see any other move for him. e6 is is a is a inferior isolated queen pawn with the pawn on a6, and he could do this, but then it's just an isolated queen pawn position, normal position, and I don't think the pawn on a6 is is helping him too much. Because if he ever does play b5, we can actually close the line and take it. And now this bishop wouldn't belong here. And, you know, we could even play a4. We're, we're a little bit better. If he goes b4, we could just play strategically. Uh, you know, we can do that. Or we don't have to take. You know, we could even... Uh, we could even play a3. But I don't, I don't like retreating. I don't like queen d3. You can do it, but he's... So yeah, I mean, it's playable for black as well. But, I mean, it's probably something like h3, stopping bishop g4, and white's a little bit better because this d-pawn is, you know, the d-pawns are better for me in the sense this bishop is better placed. If he puts the bishop on e6, it's a little bit passive. It's not really much for white. I'd call it a micro advantage, a small edge. Um, but, you know, you can get something out of it. White has, you know, no problems. He's a little bit better. So it's either that or this extremely crazy line with bishop e6, which I came up one day with while playing, and you play knight g5 now. 
And after knight g5, he has no choice but to take, and then we sacrifice our queen. Take, obviously if he does this, he has a terrible position, so he has to take the queen. And now we offer him with the choice. Does he want to make a forced draw? Which most guys don't want to do because they're too tempted by, by the, the queen. The extra queen, and then they bring their king to c7. And from there, that's what we want. And now we have this wild position, which objectively I, I, I prefer white. So white is two pieces. No, white is one piece for the queen. Okay, One piece and a pawn for the queen. But... As you can see, the computer says equal. It's not really equal um, because white has a huge attack and in practical terms, d5 is coming, bishop e3 check is coming, castles, the rooks are coming, the king is super exposed. So I've had this position, you could check 20 times at least, maybe more, 30. And almost all the games, I'm getting a huge mating attack, whether, whether I win or lose. Okay, so he played knight b4, which is interesting, and I should just castle. But I, I hadn't seen this move at this moment, because I was thinking, what if he does this? What if he does this? Yeah. I just, I just found KC2 plus looked unpleasant, and with trumps on ragged pieces, 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 and a safer key, 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 so activate your last piece and get a safer key. key. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That was my thought. Yeah, you're right, because um, you need the rooks active. You have a king on e2, the queen gets to e8. Queen a4, light squared checks. It's a little bit much. Now here, I, th this is why I didn't want to go for this because knight f7, he sacks the queen back and he takes, and I'm down material. So, but here I could just play bishop e5 calmly, and actually, knight f7 is now threatened. So he'd have to come here, and these are the type of variations which get really scary for him because, uh, after d5, if, if he takes, then knight takes e6. And like, for example, queen d7, bishop d4, and, and now we got that king hunt that I've had many times that we're talking about. King a5, and, and yeah, so, you know, th this is domination. Uh, you know, and, and king a4, we pick up the queen. And again, here, probably a4, same thing. This is leading to a disaster, so check. You gotta play king a5. No, no human wants to defend this. This is really bad, rook d3. Mates are coming. So king a5, rook d3. And these are all the only moves for black. Other moves are gonna lead the mate. So yeah, I mean, this is, this is the type of positions that I'm talking about. Um, and so at the best he has to give back his queen at the worst he gets made so this is the best he can do is give back his queen he's worse uh, in this line but there are many there are many mates as you can see with the king being hunted so so of course white is completely better yeah so of course white is completely better here objectively um, I, I've seen moves like g6 here and you know I think knight f7 is okay, but let's say d5, and then castles. Then let's say like bishop g7, knight f7. He has to stay in the back rank, and let's check here. Yeah, I mean, let's say he plays king c7. Check here, king b8. Again, at the very least, we have a draw. Uh, but I don't know if I want a draw. But maybe here he's he's he's... He's getting out of it. Yeah, if we take here, queen takes. But we could still play. Rook c4. Yeah, and if and if knight here, then rook d1. Yeah, it's, it's very it's very intense positions. Uh Do, 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 do. That's good. You're, at least that was a congratulate yourself for posting a non non mocked image. You know. So there's a lot of mates, and, and and objectively, it's a lot harder than this. Now he should have checked here. I should have castled to not. He should have checked. He didn't do it because if he checks, king e2, queen e8, he's got all sorts of possibilities. I can't get my rooks into the game, and I don't have bishop e3. So I need bishop e3. Okay, so now I get castles and a3. 
could have done this too. This is pretty common from what I've seen. Like King B8, Knight E5. This is, you know, this is the type of stuff that that I'm talking about. That that Black just falls into. Like, like if he plays Rook A7, he gets mated in like three, like this. <laughs> like you, again. That this is all over the place. Another pure model mate. Okay. Again, pieces are not developed. So th this is why I like playing this line. Um, yeah. Check here. Knight e5. Let's say g6. Check here and mate. At least king d8. Okay. Check here. And if here mate. And it's funny that you wouldn't want to allow this because he could play queen d7 here and would black be better? No, he'd still be surviving. But if you play like a move like knight b6 or c5, yeah, well, this is why, you know, bishop and knight checkmates and this. Knight and bishop on opposite color squares, that they cover everything. And minor pieces dominating a queen. I mean, look at that queen, right? Look at that queen. Look at the domination of the king. And this is why I play this line. And then this is mate, right? Do, 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 do. Just take. And then check like this. And then check like this. Do, 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 do. And mate like this. Or like this. So it's a very, it's a very Morris style, and this is why. I think I've have I done a lecture on this before, but it's 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 very fascinating a variation. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, that's uh, shows how much you like to make. You know? it's, a, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful position. Take. So okay, castles, and now. The knight's getting kind of trapped here. Dominated knight. And, you know, if he plays rook c8, I was probably going to just play rook c1. Or I could... Could I play rook c1? Now, you have to be careful. Queen a4, he, he fires back. So, probably take it. And then, it's interesting that knight e6 is the move and not rook c1. Because rook c1, there's queen f5. And he, he's got... He's got counter chances... In the sense that if I ever take this, he takes the bishop. I can't put the bishop here because he takes here. So so I would play this to stop that. And then he plays g5. And again, I can't maintain this. So if I go bishop g3, then he has, I don't know, something. He's getting out a little bit. Yeah, I mean, look, this is crazy defense, bishop h6. But again, I don't have... Rook D and then G4. So there's, you know, you don't want to let the queen get active because then, because then it gets complicated. And look at this, look at this wild, wild position. Um, this, uh, yeah, this is still looking like a draw to me. But that, like, it's always, it's always like this. I've, I've had these types of games a lot, and what's interesting is that. Like if this happens, there's still not a forced anything, and it's it's still just craziness. And if take here, like I want to know why can't he take like that? Probably because of bishop g3 or rook e7. This is, this is nuts. Yeah, I mean, what a, what's happening here? Check, check, and check. Because he can't get out because of this. What a crazy, what a crazy pattern. So he had, so it's a draw because this wins the queen, right? This is kind of one of those studies, you know. So he stays here and is always, and it's always, uh, you know, here. And now this is mate, so you don't want to fall for mate. So, you know, a lot of beautiful peace coordination all the time. Yeah, domination exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. So. Okay, take, 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 take,
So this happened, and now rook c1. Knight's trapped. He does this, and now we get what we want. We always want the bishop on e3, so... If he takes like this, it's almost forced mate, because this is mate. If he does this, then this is mate. Check. And mate. So he has to sack the queen, actually. So he does. Take and check. If he does this, it's mate. And it got into a time scramble, but I'm dominating here. And, and again, just now it's an exchange, but his, all his pieces are dis destroyed. You know, it's an exchange and a pawn. Um, two pawns, actually. Because one, two, three, one, two, three. So, exchange and two pawns, and uh, yeah. So he's totally crushed. And bishop d7 is good. I could have also done this, which is kind of amazing. Check here. And if, and if this I pick up the bishop, and if he comes here, then again, I mean, I could pick up the bishop, same thing, if I want to, or just bishop g3, because the idea is now rook a7, so, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty... Man. It's it's basically the dip mock himself. It's 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 a it's a dip mock to open open it because you give up the queen early for all this coordination and that's what Delver's mock is actually about. So here in you know you check and then you take and then you made him. Look, why is this not? Where is this? The, yeah, just take and mate, yeah. So, so that could have been mate, and it turned out this was fine too. Take, and now I just play check, and d6 and d7, and it's mate. Um, so yeah. Works d7, and d7 threatening mate. So he has to take, and take. And that's it, he can't move anything. So yeah, this is a fascinating opening. Uh, yeah, I ended up winning the game. It's a time scramble. But you see it coming out of a pan off. Offering the guy a chance of a, of a forced draw um, with king e8 or a chance to, to mock himself with king c7. And they always choose the queen, the material. But, you know, and then if... If they, yeah, bishop b6, I believe, is the, kind of the only move. If they, if they, um, you know, they look at the computer, it says, oh, it's equal minus 0.1. But reality is, this extra queen, I, I feel that, that white is, white's the one pressing for the win, I mean, everywhere. It's very easy to play white, you just, it's a clear target. Black is having to defend everything, it's a mess, everything's hanging. Just, really, in reality, it's been, yeah. And do I think it's the only move? No, I mean, you could play e6 and be a little worse than an isolated queen pawn. Normal position with the pawn on a6, I don't like it. You could play knight c3, which I discussed earlier, and, and be a little worse than a hanging pawn structure. Like, especially here, much worse. Because white has a clear clear target kingside attack. Like, you know, you might even have the h4 idea, like we've discussed before many times in the panel, because, you know, if he takes like this, we go for this line. Rookie one. And rookie four with a huge attack, two bishops. So, so, so it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of a um, lot of stuff. So, very nice lecture. Uh, the pan off, queen sacrifice. Thanks for that. And let's move on.